Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you haven't yet, remember I'm running a giveaway until I reach 500 subscribers. So hopefully you're seeing this in the distant future and 500 subscribers was just an afterthought. But if you're watching this and I don't have 500 subscribers yet, go look at that giveaway video in the list of my videos so you can enter to win some cool Cummins gear. So today what I'm going to be talking to you about are the top four modifications that I've done to my truck that I feel are the biggest bang for the buck. So let's go check it out and I'll show you all four of them. All right, so for the first modification, we're gonna pop the hood. So number four has to do with the injection pump. Number four is going to be a governor spring and a fuel pin. And I put those as a combo because a lot of people sell them as a combo. They're separate things, but uh, I think the combination of both of them is a very good upgrade for these trucks. So. Uh, you can find the combo fuel pin, governor spring, uh, I recommend the Hungry Diesel. I'll put a link to his website down below, um, but uh, you can get that for under 100 bucks. So go check that out. It's a fairly basic installation. For number two, best bang for the buck, upgrade your stock turbo. This is an HX35 off of a second gen. Uh, I actually got it for free because a guy pulled it because it was... Uh, spewing oil past the seals. So I rebuilt it for 50 bucks. It was easy to rebuild. I'll actually be doing a video on how to rebuild an HX35 in the near future. Um, and it's a huge upgrade over the stock turbo. Another turbo that you should look at if you can find one is an HE351CW. Um, that's off of a third gen and that's a great upgrade as well. The HX35 is pretty much bolt on there's some that have a little difference to them but it's a very easy turbo to install on these trucks even if it has to have some modifications the HE351CW is a little more difficult but really not that much um, so check out one of those turbos in my mind they are a great upgrade for the price number three is going to be the interior um, this was for the, now I won't say this was super cheap, but I won't say it was expensive either. I got the driver and passenger seat as a set for a hundred bucks, got the center console for a hundred bucks, got the carpet kit for 150 bucks. I've got it sound deadened, which was probably another hundred bucks. So it probably cost me $500 to upgrade the interior, but it made the comfort and the ride quality of this old truck feels so nice that uh, even my wife prefers to drive this over her nice new van because this just feels so comfortable, so big, and uh, it's just a very enjoyable drive. Um, so that's number three. I would say figure out some way to upgrade your seats. I'll do a video featuring everything on the interior so you can check that out. All right, the last modification that's going to make this list is this the crew cab swap. That was probably the best thing I've ever done to this truck. Um, I've got four kids, so this truck can now easily carry my whole family, all the gear we ever need. Um, was it super cheap? No, it wasn't. I paid 1500 bucks for the cab and then used my 93 as the donor, which I paid $3,000 for. So it uh, wasn't super cheap, but when you look at that relative to a newer truck, like a third gen, you're looking at 15 to 20K. Fourth gen, you're looking at 25 to 40K. Um, having a truck payment of three to $800 a month. Uh, this thing's paid off. It does everything I want it to do. Like I said, it can haul my family, everything we need. It was the best bang for the buck that I've done on this truck. So um, anyways, that's the top four modifications that I've done to my truck. You may argue that the crew cab swap shouldn't be on the list, but it is. It's on the list. That's why I built the truck. So 
Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you have not subscribed yet, go subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next video.